Hi, I'm Dee for Law, Family and Consumer Science Agent with DARE and Terrell County Cooperative Extension. I'm glad you invited me today. We're going to talk a little bit about drying herbs. Come on in. An herb is any plant used in whole or in part as an ingredient for health, flavor, or fragrance. Herbs can be used to make teas, perk up cooked foods such as meat, vegetables, sauces, and soups, or used to add flavor to vinegars, butters, dips, or mustards. The flavor of herbs comes from oils in the cell walls of plants. Leaves, flowers, stems, and seeds of herbs can all be dried. Heat, low humidity, and air movement are needed to dry herbs. Some methods include air drying, dehydrator drying, and microwave drying. Sun drying and oven drying have limitations. Most herbs are best for drying just before the flowers are open. New leaves at the tip of the plant will have the most concentrated flavor. Flowering herbs tend to be somewhat bitter. Herbs will have more of their essential oils if harvested on a sunny day in mid-morning after the dew has evaporated. Use scissors to cut the stems just above a leaf or pair of leaves. Leave four to six inches of stem for later growth. Remove any bruised, soiled, or imperfect leaves and stems. Inspect plants for insects. Rinse the stems in cool water and shake to remove excess moisture. Then gently pat dry with a paper towel. You could also use a salad spinner to remove moisture. Remove as much moisture as possible. Dehydrator drying is a fast and easy way to dry high quality herbs because temperature and air circulation can be controlled. Preheat the dehydrator with the thermostat set at 95 to 115 degrees. After rinsing and removing moisture, place the herbs in a single layer on dehydrator trays. You may use mesh screens if needed. Drying times may vary from one to four hours. Check periodically. Herbs are dry when they crumble and stems break when bent. Microwave drying is another good option. However, a microwave oven with wattage rating of 1000 or higher may, be, may heat too fast to use this method. Arrange washed and dried herbs one layer thick between paper towels. The length of time will depend on the amount of herbs and the power level of the microwave oven. Microwave on high for two to three minutes and check. Continue drying for 30 second intervals and check in between for dryness. Watch carefully to make sure the paper towels don't catch fire. Testing for dryness and storing herbs. Herbs are sufficiently dry when leaves are crispy and crumble easily between the fingers. Any moisture will encourage mold growth during storage. Dried leaves may be left whole and crumbled as used or coarsely crumbled before storage. However, whole herbs will hold their oils and retain their flavors longer. Place herbs in airtight containers and store in a cool, dry, dark area to protect color and fragrance. Most dried herbs will keep well for up to a year. Using dried herbs. Dried herbs are usually three to four times stronger than fresh herbs. So use one fourth to one third the amount called for of fresh herbs. Another option is to freeze fresh herbs. Wash and coarsely chop the fresh herbs. Place about one tablespoon of herbs in water-filled ice cube trays and push herbs under the water as much as possible and freeze. The next day, when the herb cubes are frozen solid, add additional water to top off the cube and freeze again. You can substitute frozen herbs for fresh in most recipes. Benefits of herbs. Using herbs and spices instead of salt for flavoring foods is very healthy and is part of eating the Mediterranean way. 
eating like those who live in the Mediterranean region has been shown to promote health and decrease risk of many chronic diseases. Eating the Mediterranean way is not only healthy, it's delicious and satisfying. Cooperative Extension offers the six-week Med instead of Meds program that focuses on eating this particular way. We hope that you can join us in the future. Thank you so much.